the International Bluegrass Music Association's most awarded fiddle player of the year is Michael Cleveland. He's one of the genre's most sought after players, but what sets him apart from the pack is that he's blind and partially deaf. His incredible story is told in a new documentary called Flamekeeper, The Michael Cleveland Story. The film's premiere was attended by a who's who of country and bluegrass icons as our Caroline Hobby discovered on the red carpet. I'm here with Michael Cleveland celebrating his own documentary, The Flamekeeper. Talk to me about what feelings you're having right now, having your own movie. Um, it's pretty exciting, pretty surreal, you know. I've always tried to really focus on the music. It's wicked to see how much music he pulls out of a bow. He's untouchable. I first met Michael when, uh, when he was probably 10 or 12 years old. I immediately knew, you know, that there was just such incredible talent there and a gift. The, the way he plays is fearless. You know, it's with, without any fear, and it's remarkable to, to, to be in a, a in a, a musical setting with him and, and watch him just completely be unhinged, and, and he's unlike anybody I've ever heard. Mike is one of the greatest musicians in the world. I mean, you know when there's great musicians, and you know when somebody is like, not of this world, they're so good. And that's what Mike is, and as I learn more about his story, learn more about the things that he went through in his life, I just said, we have to make a film about this guy. It's a real honor to get to play for him, and it's, it's really cool to be a part of his story, and I know he'll go down as a legend someday. Well, he's one of the modern guys, too. He's a traditional guy and a modern guy. He can do everything. So I finally started playing with him this year, and we've done some recording recently, and he's a fantastic player, holy cow. He's got a memory, too. But Michael's touch, you know, when he when he plays and, and not being able to ever see, you know, the, the, the fingerboard, you know, people, you know, they've got something to look at, you know, and he totally goes by 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 feel and, and it's it's really incredible to see him. Long after we're gone, I think people are gonna be listening to Mike's recordings and they're gonna be studying him, they're gonna to wanna to know a little bit about him. And I think the best thing about this film, you get to learn a little bit more about his life when he was younger, what it was like, and uh, how he accomplished so much. I will be interested to see what people think that aren't, like, attached to it in some way, you know, like, I mean, I've watched it, it'll be interesting to see what your average person that knows absolutely nothing about any of this would, would think. Well, we think it's remarkable. Head over to flamekeeperfilm.com for more information.